All right, man. So, <clears throat> seems like a lot of Piston fans don't want to get Ron Holland the opportunity to come here and give him a chance. And man, obviously, if you listen to what Tarzan Langdon was saying, he didn't want to be here. So, um, and I'll continue to say that because he said that he didn't work out for the Pistons, and he said a lot of agents was telling their players not to work out for the Pistons. But last time I checked, the agent worked for the player. So, you know. Um, so if the agent worked for the player and you got an opportunity to, you know, land, you know, you got an opportunity to land, excuse me, land in a good spot, you know, you're like, well, shit, I'm just trying to get as much money. Why am I going to Detroit? Why am I listening to the agent? He works for me. He's not the end all be all to the situation. So he really wasn't trying to be here. And, you know, nonetheless, we understand. It ain't like to the point where we, we not being understanding about the situation. Tom Gores is, you know, ultimately, excuse me, destroyed um, the situation. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think the biggest thing why people in Detroit, you know, are not accepting of Ron Hollins is not because the G League team was the worst, was one of the worst, the worst team. And the Ignite was the worst team in the G League and they had, they had abolished and it is done. Um, it's not to the fact that uh, he didn't want to be here for real. Um it's just to the simple fact that he can't shoot. And we've seen guys come and go in Detroit and they never learn to shoot the basketball. Like we've never we haven't seen too many players come here who couldn't shoot develop into shooters. Um shit, K can't really shoot. You know, Ivy, you know, still learn to shoot. You know, Short Thompson still learn to shoot. And the guys that come that can shoot, they tend not to get opportunities at Flalo, Didwitty, uh uh Middleton. Sasser, I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on about, you know, guys that can't, you know, can shoot. So, I mean, is it a way to get around, to work around it? Absolutely. But you can't just sit here and get K Cunningham the ball and go one on five and spread everybody out across the perimeter. No. You know, you get guys crashed, you get guys slashed, you get guys running the back door, you get guys off pin downs being aggressive going to the rim. Your offense got to be aggressive going to the rim. And if they pack the paint, guess what? Closer you are to the rim, the higher percentages you got to make in the basketball. So if they're going to pack the paint and give us the 10-footer, we're going to take the 10-footer. You know, we're going to run the pick and roll, so be it, okay. With Ryan Hollins, that would be a good thing. Even off the pick and roll, we could slide him off the pick and roll. We could have him slash and run in the back door. Like screens with Rip Hamilton. You could have these guys coming off screens and looking to be aggressive and coming off screen so there's ways to coach guess what you know you got a young team that like to run hey every time we get the ball we push the pace so there's ways to coach around that where you don't have to shoot threes to be effective to win basketball games but um you know i mean jimmy butler couldn't shoot coming to the league you know Jalen brown had to develop and those are two comps i keep seeing and everything you hear about him is he a workhorse he worked hard but then you hear that about all the pissy young players. They work really, really hard, and we haven't reaped the benefits of anything. We haven't started to see them come up, be on the up and up. Now people are saying the core is trash and ain't that good. And, you know, excuse me, whatever reason that is. But uh, it's a simple fact that he can't shoot, you know, and that's a problem at 18, 19 years old, you know, and it's just to the fact where we've not seen guys really develop into shooters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Isaac Okora from the Cavaliers is another guy. You know, even though he shoot the ball a little bit better, it's just to the point where it's not fluid. It's not fluid. Patrick Williams had a few injuries, shooting the ball a little bit better, but it ain't got to the point where people want to see where he really letting it fly at. So, um, it's just, you know, and it's crazy that nobody's talking about the inability of American players not to do basic things. You know, they coming out of high school or they coming into college or out of college without basic essentials. A basic jump shot. They can't shoot. You know, basic post moves. They can't post. You know? You know, so but yeah, I mean I, I mean I'm like I said before, you know, as you look at the roster constructed in other videos I said who knows if a short Thompson going to be here? Who knows if K going to be here? Who knows if Ivy going to be here? Who knows? <coughs> Excuse me. Who knows? We don't know if they're going to be here. So saying they got the same guy like that. It might be indicating or he do the same thing. They could put that might be indicating that somebody may not be here. <laughs> you know, 
Think about it. That may be indicating that somebody might not be here. So you sitting there saying, oh, yeah, you know, Ivy ain't this. And, you know, they can play together. Somebody may not be here. So also put that in your know, mental notes. <sighs> that somebody may also get traded. So um, I don't really have an issue with it. Um, athletic, some things you can't teach. You can teach a guy to shoot. I seen him shoot the ball. It looked a little bit uncomfortable. You just ask yourself, like, Jesus, Louise, why ain't these dudes shooting the ball better? What's going? What's in the water in America where these guys can't shoot the ball? But you go over to France, you got guys seven foot nine, you know, shooting the basketball with ease. You know what I'm saying? Routinely coming out shooting it with ease. So what's what's going on with these American players not having essentials, not knowing how to dribble, not knowing how to shoot? All they know how to do is run and dunk, run and dunk, run and dunk. You know, but they talk about his motor. They talk about he can't teach that his athleticism. You can't teach that he's still growing his foot. You, <coughs> he's still growing his what six, seven, six, eight, whatever he is. So he's still growing. You know, you know, you talking about shooting a jump shot. It ain't just spotting up shooting. You talking about shooting off the dribble, catching and shooting. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, scoring, you know, you know, all, all that type of stuff. What type of shooter, mid-range jump shot, finding your spots, you know, finding where you need to go and how to get your shot off. It's so, so much that come with jump shooting. People just think, okay, I stay on this ring and stay ready and, 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 and it'll be in my shooter's pocket. It's catching it outside the shooter's pocket. You know, it's an escape dribble getting to your spot. It may be, you know, you know, going one-on-one -on -one and, and, finding, and, and, and finding a way to pull up to find your spots. You got to figure out. You know where your spots is on the floor and for years that, that take guys for years to figure that out quite frankly it takes some guys years to figure that out so it's so much going to shooting bro like catch and shoot shooting off the dribble you know escape dribble shoot post up you know getting it off the dribble floaters and whatever it may be so um posting up and getting a jump shot so it's a lot to go into it but you know, the more I look into it, the more you look at the character, the more you look at the athletic, you know, the character, the motor, the athleticism, the defense, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can't teach that. You got things you can't teach. Work ethic, you can't teach that. So I'm fine with the pick, you know what I'm saying? I'm hopefully, he, you know, they start to get the organization together. But um, easily you can see as you do some research why they drafted them. Um, and, you know, you believe in your staff. He said, that's why we got Fred Vincent here, the shooting coach, to get them together. And if he can, you know, shoot the ball the right way. Some of these guys start shooting the ball the right way. You know, you get about two or three of these guys start shooting the ball the right way. This shit can change in the drop of a dime. So, um, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. Go live drop video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal in the description at the link tree. Find me everywhere. Peace.